Hello, my friends, Trey Ratcliffe here, and we're going to talk about architecture HDR with the new Aurora HDR 2019. Uh, because we've made grand sweeping improvements to the algorithm for the HDR bit, it has really affected uh, these architecture shots, particularly when it's kind of bright outside and different light inside. This has always been a classical problem with uh, like real estate shots, uh, indoor architecture shots, because right where that transition is, sometimes it's, a, it's always been a bit ropey, hasn't it? Like it looks a little cloudy or dingy or dirty, not clean. So now that transition is clean. And this is a really good example of that, okay? We'll kind of do a little breakdown of this. Um, by the way, if you want to get uh, the new Aurora HDR 2019, uh, click in the link uh, down below. You'll love it. If you don't love it, you can have all your money back, of course. But you're, you're going to love it. So you can already see the before and after. This is the, uh, the middle exposure. By the way, you can use just one raw file if you want to. This one happened to come from three JPEGs, but one raw file is great too. Okay. Uh, if it's super duper bright outside, you may want a, a little wider range of exposure, like minus two to plus two, or maybe even a little more. But this is just minus two to plus two, and it seems to be fine. So let me turn off this before and after, and when we zoom in to 100%, you can see this very smooth transition here between uh, you know the windows and everything else. There's no haloing, zero haloing. haloing. The other great thing about the new algorithm is there's no noise, so it's just clean. Clean, clean and fresh, like a Instagram model. Does a lot of Photoshop. Um, okay, let's zoom back out. Um, all right, let me talk about uh, another thing here. Uh, we have these things called presets. Okay, if you've never used Aurora before, these are pretty fancy. Um, you have different categories down here, and in particular, we have an architecture category, which you can click on. And you get different kinds of architecture looks. Okay, like sometimes you want it to be like really bright and sharp. Other times you might want it more dreamy and mixy. You have all these options here. And remember that each of these has a uh, a slider on it. So you can either do 100% of the preset or slide it down to like you know 1%, whatever you like. Okay. Um, I also have a lot of my own presets that ship with Aurora HDR, and there's other bonus presets you can get too. Okay, so let me show you a little bit more about the tool as long as we're in here. By the way, I have, I have many videos that talk about how to use HDR in many situations. So check my YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, or Facebook. I got it there too. Okay, all over the place. So some of the you know most basic controls is the same as Lightroom, right? You have sort of like an overall exposure. You can do some adjustments on. Um, double click it to get it back to zero. Smart tone takes the darker colors and brings them up a little bit. Uh, all the basic stuff you're used to. But then down here, this is where it gets all fancy, you know. And I must admit that almost all interior shots, if they have a little bit of HDR, they're better. You know, I I notice this now because now I go to like hotel websites or restaurant websites, and I can just tell when they, they have a good HDR photographer in there that's using a tool like Aurora, it just looks better. Honestly, it looks better, you know? Um, so here under HDR Enhance, you can do clarity, right? And this will amp up the, um, the textury feel to it, right? And the smart structure uh, takes it up to the next level. Like you can really, you don't wanna go too overboard, but you can if you want to. And of course, you can use layers if you just want that HDR look to take place in one little area. Like, let's say I really want to texturize the table. Okay, uh, so what I'll do is I'll do add a new adjustment layer. I'll go down here and amp up the clarity and the smart structure. Okay, and then I'll go pick my brush, brush. Okay, and then I'll just brush right here on top of the table, and then now the table gets all nice, like that. nice little texture. Nice. Uh, very, very simple. Very powerful. There's all kinds of different ways to use this tool. Um, I think you're absolutely going to love it. All right. And if you have some good results, come join. We have a free Facebook group, kind of full of artists. And we're all using these tools and experimenting and sharing our creations. It's a very 
very nice soft landing in there for you. Okay, we'll put that link down below as well. All right, love you guys, and uh, come check out the other videos if you want to know more about Aurora HDR 2019.